hello everyone in this video we will study about network security that is the module 4 in this module we are going to deal with the elements of network security and security algorithms and some of the protocols so the first topic is overview of network security and in this we are going to study the elements of network security so next network security it is a top priority issue in the data network which is the current trending topic and we need to provide the security to this largely growing network so here we have the network security it is going to combine two main elements the first one is confidentiality and the second one is authenticity and integrity confidentiality is the information should be available only to those who have the rightful to access them so who have the permission to access for that kind of information only they can get the information so it is a confidential the second one is authenticity and integrity the sender of the message and the message itself should be verified at the receiving point so whenever the message is received at the receiver side first it need to check whether the valid message has been reached second one is uh, whether it has the message is sent from the valid user that is authenticity and as well as the integration need to be maintained so here we have a diagram in this diagram we have two parts part a and part b so we'll go with the first uh, figure in first diagram we have the user one you can see them here user one we want to send the message to user two so we have a message is i am a user so user one has typed i am a user one and that has been sent into the network so we have an intruder who can actually get that message because it is in a main readable form so they are going to get the message and they are going to change the message and then it will be sent to user two here no any kind of uh, security has been provided in the first diagram but we can see the second diagram here in this case also user 1 want to send a message to user 2 but authentication has been uh, authentication uh, integrity as well as the confidentiality has been provided here there uh, this is done through a key mechanism user 1 has a key uh, which is used for encryption purpose user key uh, 2 also has a key which is used for decryption pur purpose so they are going to exchange the keys and only with these keys they are able to read the message so user 1 has is going to encrypt the message that is being sent from the user 1 and it will be sent into the network even though the intruder gets the message as this person does not have the key they are unable to decrypt it so here security has been provided authenticity is also done confidentiality as well as the integrity is provided in the second diagram so here we have the threats to the network security uh, internet infrastructure attacks you are going to classify them into, into four main categories the first one is dns hackings in routing table poisoning packet mistreatment and last one is the denial of service the first three attacks they are going to be under the network infrastructure whereas the last one is related to the end systems so first one is about the dns hacking so here we have a dns hacking attack dns its main functionality is to give the ip address for the domain name for what you are going to ask so it is a name to uh, domain conversion and domain name domain back to the name conversion that is ip address we can get it from the dns so here uh, we are going to come across four kinds of attacks in the dns server the first one is an information level attack so in case of information level attack uh, it's going to force a server to respond with other than the correct answer so whenever the user is requesting for the ip address or some kind of information instead of for replying with the correct answer you are going to send the falsified answer so with the cache poisoning hacker tries to remote the name server into caching and answers the third party domain by providing the malicious information for, for the domains authorized servers so then the uh, hackers they can even direct the traffic into the pre-selected site so instead of uh, getting the correct answer you are going to get the wrong answer because the some malicious information is provided by the hackers who are going to that is who are going to hack that particular dns server the second attack is just called as a middleman attack it is a, a masquerading attack here the advertiser poses an uh, trusted entity and obtains all the secret information and in this case the attacker can stop any messages from being transmitted further and can change the content or also it can uh, redirect the packet to the bogus server 
so this kind of attack we are going to call it as a middleman attack the third one is uh, the attacker normally sends queries to each host and receives the and it's going to get the reply from the dns host name in an information leakage attack the attacker sends queries to all the host and it's going to identify the ip addresses which are not in use and later these ip addresses they are they are used for some kind of attacks so it is mainly based on the ip address uh, leakage the fourth one is the domain name is selected when uh, we need to keep the registration details and domain name details in a safe form otherwise uh, once the uh, hacker comes to know about the domain name and other registration deta details they can use that particular information to hijack the uh, dns server so this is called as an hijacking attack so these are the four main categories uh, in case of dns hacking attack so we'll go with this uh, next one that is the routing table poisoning attack routing table uh, it is one of the um, it is an undesired modification of the routing tables here all the uh, packets forwarding and uh, routing it takes place through the routing table so it is a main factor that need to be considered so when the routing table uh, is uh, is attacked uh, the security of the entire network has been lost so an attacker can do this by maliciously modifying the routing information update packets sent by the router so it's going to uh, change the routing information which is stored in the routing tape routing uh, it, which is stored in the routing packets and here that information is being changed and uh, it is been sent to the neighboring nodes so there are two types of routing table poisoning attacks so that is first one is at the link attack and the second one is at the router attack so at the link attack it's going to occur when the hacker gets the access to the link and it's going to intercept uh, or interrupt or modify the message that is present in the packet so link attacks they are going to act similarly in the both that is in the link state as well as the distance vector protocol in both the cases it's going to act in the same way that is that's going to interrupt it's going to modify the information and then it's going to forward the second kind is the uh, router attacks in here router it's going to attack the link state as well as the distance protocol but uh, in case of link state protocol routers are attacked and as soon as the routers are attacked they become the malicious so they are going to add a non existing link to the routing table and delete the existing link or even change the cost of the link so this attack may it is going to cause the router to simply ignore the updates by uh, its neighbors so when it's going to ignore the updates uh, it is going to seriously impact the network traffic flow the second kind is in distance vector protocol an attacker may cause the router to send the wrong updates about any node in the network so it's going to mislead the routers and it's going to result in lot of networking problems the next kind of attack we have it as a packet mischievous attack so here packet mischievous attack it can occur during any data transmission a hacker may capture the certain data packets and mistreat them so this type of attack it is very difficult to detect the attack may result in congestion lowering the throughput and it also give rise to denial of service attacks it is similar to the uh, routing table and uh, other attacks what we have seen earlier so here the link attack it's going to causes the interruption modification and uh, uh, replication of the data packets whereas the router attack it's going it is going to mislead the person so here uh, we have some of the examples of packet mistreatment attack the first one is interruption interruption here if an attacker they are going to intercept the packets they they might they may not be allowed to be propagated to the destination which is going to result the uh, network throughput so this kind of attack it, it is not easy to detect and uh, even a normal operation of the router it's going to drop some packets because it does not know the proper destination second is a modification the attacker they are going to modify the contents which is present in the packets and then they are going to change send the packet so even they can change the destination address source address or the actual data that is present in the packet so to solve this kind of problem we are going to use the digital signature method the third kind of problem here is replication 
so here the attacker they are going to trap a packet and replay it so this kind of attack uh, it is difficult to detect but it can be done through the sequence numbers of the packet it can avoid them we can avoid the replication by using the sequence numbers so the next kind here we have a ping of death here the attacker they are going to send a ping messages which is large and therefore uh, it need to be fragmented at the transport layer so the receiver uh, they need to reassemble the ping fragments at the arrival site so the total packet size it is going to become too large and the system may crash so you are going to send the large number of packets at the uh, from sender to receiver which will lead to fragmentation and uh, reassembly takes place at the destination which is going to cause the system crash the last one is malicious misrouting of packets here hacker they are going to attack a routing and they are going to change its routing table it, the the router itself has been hacked and the routing table information has been changed which will cause the packet drop or the packet loss and this will also lead to the denial of service kind of attacks so here we have the denial, uh, denial of service attack in the, this kind of attack uh, it takes place only at the end systems so here denial of attack it is a type of security breach that prohibits a user from accessing normally provided services so denial of service does not result in information theft or any kind of information loss but it can nevertheless it can be more dangerous than the previous attacks so usually denial of service attacks is going to affect the specific network services such as emails or dns so here denial of attacks so they are being classified into two types first one is a single source second one is a distributed here uh, single sources an attacker they are going to send large number of packets to a large uh, to a targeted system to overwhelm the and to overwhelm and disable it these packets are designed such that their real sources cannot be identified so here in case of single source you are going to send the large number of packets so the system is unable to receive them and that is going to dis that need to be discarded so when you are sending the large number of packets the source id is not known second one is distributed here in this kind of attack large number of hosts are used to flunt unwanted traffic to the uh, single target and the target is unable to access them and which is going to cause large traffic and flood in the network so it is the case of distributed attack so here we have explained threats to this network security in brief thank you